Hello stranger, it's been a while. I'm set to go to an adventure but before I leave, I just wanna ask, do you wanna tag along? Well then, grab your flower basket, bring your refreshments, and put on your spring dress as we step into Romance Secret Garden. Recently, Romand released 6 new Better Than Eyes eyeshadow palettes containing 10 shades each. Yes, you heard that right, 10 shades, containing a mixture of mattes and shimmers ready to take you to an adventure to each area in the secret garden. And now, we're gonna step into them one by one. First up, Pampas Garden. A curation of warm coral colors, Pampas Garden is meant to take you to an adventure in spring, the season when Pampas flowers start to grow. So it's no surprise that the shade names would signify nothing less than that, flowers and sunshine. The color story is comprised of various tones of muted corals, with some browns thrown into the mix to give an earthy touch. And to bring some sunshine along, we got four shimmer or glitter shades which can be applied beautifully even with a brush. Sorry, had to emphasize that because a lot of shimmer or glitter formulations do not apply well with a brush, but this one really does. This palette is light and tiny, you can definitely fit this in your little pouch to bring along to your adventures. The smooth to the touch formulation, vibrant color payoff, lasting power, and flexible shade range to recreate spring on your canvas, which is your face, makes its price very affordable. In terms of fall off, there is some noticeable fall off on the darkest two shades, the brown ones, but nothing too much and they still apply smoothly on the skin. But of course, the highlight of your first adventure with a palette always starts with swatches. First up, Glamstar which is a chunky white gold glitter with silver shift in different sizes. This is one of those mushy glitter formulations which you would have to be really careful during application so not to get into your eyes. Second is another chunky formulation called Sparkling Petal, a warm rose gold glitter. Comparing this with Glamstar, this definitely has bigger chunks of glitter but just as mushy. Next is a peachy shade with blue and silver shift micro shimmer called Shining Pampas. Definitely one of my faves in this palette and goes well with the different matte shades. Very very smooth to the touch. We have Coral Day which is a matte muted coral which leans more on the pinky side, definitely one of the main shades in the palette, a very vibrant warm pink color with very very little fall off. Sunshine Shower, a bronzy gold shimmer, has the same feel as Shining Pampas, completes the four shimmer or glitter shades in the palette. Next, we have Skin Beige, a matte white beige shade most likely intended as a base or a highlight under the lower lash line. Very faint color, might look pasty on darker skin tones. Generally, not a fan of this shade, mainly because I feel that it washes down the other colors if you use it as a base. Pink Pampas, a lighter version of Coral Day, can be used as a base or for a low-key shadow look, would also work as a very very subtle blush. Next, we have Mellow Coral, which is an orangey matte muted coral. Definitely adds character and variety into this palette, and if you love orange shades like I do, then you definitely love this. We have Mood Brown, which is a warm tone matte brown, kind of a leather brown color, which is a good addition for variety in the palette, great for lining or for smoky eyes, while keeping it looking fresh or kind of inclined for a day look. Lastly, we have Deep Brownie which is a cool tone matte brown. Definitely darker than Mood Brown but it's not like a black brown color so it may still be a tad light to use as an eyebrow color unless you have really light colored hair. And those are the shades that make up the Pampas Garden palette. Now for the most exciting part, painting your face with this palette. I used three brushes for this look, four if you'll add my fingers. First one is the Sigma E54, 
my Naked Palette brush from my Ultraviolet palette, then my Sigma E65 brush. I already have my base on so I'm starting off with Coral Day and apply that on the inner half of my lids with my Sigma E54 brush. This is a very bright, pigmented color and shows really vibrant in person. Then with the same brush, I'm gonna take some mellow coral and apply that on the outer half of my lids and create a transition. Then I'm gonna use the blender part of my naked brush and use the same color to buff that on my crease. Take it a little bit higher and make sure that everything blends well together. I'm going back in with Coral Day just to make sure the inner half retains that pinky coral color and then I'm gonna take it a bit higher and kind of connect it with a buffed mellow coral just to make sure that there's a good transition between the two colors. Then I'm gonna take the smudge part of my naked brush, take some of my Coral Day and lightly brush underneath my lower lash line. So far there's really no distinct fall off but I'm gonna go with a Q-tip just to clean up the shape of the shadow underneath. Now I'm gonna use my finger and take some of Shining Pampas. You can definitely use your brush if you want. I just didn't want my mattes to mix with the glitters. Shining Pampas definitely adds a great sparkle and a little orange color as well. Really, really beautiful. Next, I'm gonna take Glam Star with the buffer side of my naked brush. Just gonna scoop some of that chunky glitter and carefully add that on the inner corners of my eyes. Then I'm gonna take that higher and connect it with the shadows on my crease. I'm also gonna take that underneath my lower lash line, just around one fourth, just so I get that bling when I move my head around and the light hits. Now, these chunky glitters stay put really well. They don't move based on experience, so it won't get messy throughout the day. Lastly, I'm gonna take my Sigma E65 and take Deep Brownie and make a tiny wing. Now, I'm not an expert on lining, but this brush definitely makes it a lot easier for a noob like me. Now with what's left on the brush, I'm gonna put that on my lower lash line just to darken the outline of my eyes and make it seem like I have thicker lower lashes. Now I'm just gonna curl my lashes and use my Club Clio Kill Mascara to finish off the eye look. Now the colors on this palette are really flexible as well to be used for your cheeks. This is the charm of the Pampas Garden palette I would say over the other Better Than Eyes palette from Romand. I'm gonna take Pink Pampas with this fluffy brush and layer that over my cheeks. Just a thin layer to kind of prep the main color which is mixing Mellow Coral with Pink Pampas. I just wanted more of a sun-kissed cheeks which is why I opted to go with Mellow Coral than Coral Day. For the lips, I'm gonna use Roman Juicy Lasting Tint in Plum Coke and do a gradient lip just to keep things fresh. Now I tried Deep Brownie on my brows just to show you that this can be an option but definitely this is a few shades too light for me. That's it! This is the complete look. I love it, it's fresh, it's vibrant, and the shimmers and glitters definitely give a fairy-like vibe. So beautiful when the light hits. I've had this on for the rest of the day and guess what? It did not smudge or smear. I hope you love this look as well. Let me know if there are other looks you want me to do with this palette or if you already have one, tag me on the looks you'll be making. Well then, I guess that's it for now. Until my next Bare Than Ice palette review. See you around. Just repeat the words I'm about to say, all right? Moon, prism, power, makeup. Right. Moon, prism, power, makeup. <laughs>